Welcome back, everybody. This is your boy, Shemmy Bear, and we're going to be hosting our second week of our single draft league. And we're going to be going against the Montreal Guard Chops. And this is Chicago Shemmy Bear from the Chicago Bear Ticks. Please leave, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned for weekly battles with the team below. Today we got our Earth Saluna. We got Tornadus, Suyan Samurai, Greninja, Iron Treads, and our Mew. And the Mew is a spicy set. Let's see if uh, it does well. So, now, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm ready, searching. And I'm gonna wish this guy good luck and have fun. And we should be able to go. Alright, we got our first battle. Go team Star. So, we'll do this. And they brought Moltres. They brought Moltres, Hoopa, Tinkaten, Alecki. Um. Electrifier and their Volcanion. So I did not even expect half these Pokemon. Um, the only thing that could outspeed, they didn't bring Iron Jugglers, which could outspeed me. Their Garchomp they didn't bring, so the only thing, there's nothing that could outspeed me right now. Um, Nothing stopping me from leading this and setting up, or you know what? I might just set up rocks with. Yeah, yeah I'll set up rocks first. I got flame orb. All these letter the Pokemon here are gonna be their other Pokemon with their names unscrambled. So, good luck, have fun. We're gonna see if we be able to do this. I'm really worried about the Hoopa, but I got a very spicy new set that should be able to take this guy out. So please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. Weekly, we do these battles, and next week, we'll, we'll see who our, our opponent will be. Uh, let's go Pill. Let's go Pill. Let's go do this. Who's gonna lead off with Electros? This is a perfect lead. Um, what can Electros do? Against Iron Treads. Flamethrower will do a lot, but I should set up Soft Rock. The only thing I can really do is Flamethrower, and that should only do is about 76% to me. Like, boy. Barcelona. Electros against Barcelona. Has Drain Punch. So, hold on. We'll be doing 44%, but my Drain Punch will be doing the same back. Facade will actually KO this thing. So I'm gonna go for a facade and it has to switch out. Oh no, facade won't KO. We got plus two defense. Facade will do 56%. We got plus three. Let's 
This facade's gonna hurt. Yeah. They're buried, they're citrus buried, so they're gonna be lit, able to lit one more. Uh, Drain Punch is not doing nearly enough. Only, my best move is Facade. They're gonna coil one more time, but they're, they're getting very cheeky on this. Facade's doing 45%. 38 to 45% right now. Yeah, so one more should knock it out. And there's nothing that... Drain Punch will recover 44%. It has to Drain Punch me. I will live. And I will do 45% back. So the next Drain Punch will hurt and will knock me out. What I'm going to do is go. I'm not gonna be able to throw enough for this left cross. What about my Tornadus? Mm -hmm. Facade. I'm gonna drain punch. I'm gonna KO. All right. But I'm looking to see now. Drain punch. It's gonna knock out anything now. The only thing I have against it. The only thing I have against it is my Mew. So I need to bulk up with Mew. Unless it has Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch then it'll hurt. And I'm not getting there with it. So I need a bulk up in front of this guy. Okay. About forty two percent. Uh bulk up one more time. Plus two. Plus two. Thunder Punch is only doing about thirty one percent. The T wave. Okay. Now this is the only thing that can outspeed their whole team, and I just got two waves, so this... Hmm. I need to bulk up again. Now I'm at plus three. Plus three. Twenty-five percent. Uh, I need to store power. I can't get cheeky. I need to store power. Knock this thing out. No crit. Store power. There we go. All right. One more will knock anything, but a breeze will knock this thing out. But it took two Pokemon to knock out Electros. 
And my Mew that was actually going for a nice good sweep just got punished. So I'm going to bring in Tornadus. It outspeeds everything. I'm going to U-turn. It will do 16%. Uh, hold on. Oh, just Air Slash. Air Slash will knock it out. Dark Fist will knock it out. If anything for you turn will knock it out. Do I want to feel that? No. I'm gonna grass them. I only need to reveal anything else to them right now. I don't need to show them that I have Dark Pulse because that is for Hoopa and Hoopa will be a problem now. I have knockoff still. Anything coming in is going to be taking Stealth Rock damage and I can still U-turn out and bring in my Samurott. So you got really cheeky and try to coil in front of me but the thing, good luck and fortunate for me is I had my Ursa Luna. And the Ursa Luna had significant amount of bulk to be able to withstand. That's about anything. So now they're bringing in Moltres. What can Moltres do? I can... Just start the... Uh, Air Slash. We'll do more. So I'm gonna need air slash this thing. And try to blend. That did so much! That did so much! Next air slash. Okay, in their lefties. Another air slash possibly could knock it out. So. I see why not. Beat it so it should just keep going air slashes. Honestly, go for a flinch. If I get one flinch, there you go. I got the flinch. Just keep going air slash. I outspeed. It's really, I if I bring in Samurai, it takes 55%. Yes, I outspeed, but then at what cost? Uh, Moltres against. Uh, Iron Treads is definitely not a smart idea. So, I really... My best option is just the Air Slash, and they have to Roost. So... They can PP stall me, but I do have, uh, Dark Pulse as well, so I can go for Dark Pulse flinches. And if I do get a crit, that is in my advantage, as long as it hit. I need to hit every single one of these. Uh, there's nothing else I have that can... Moltres. Hurricane's still gonna do a lot to uh, Greninja. That was a crit. Nice. Heat wave. Okay. No burn. No burn. No burn. Alright. And I do not want to go U, U, U turn just for the fact that it has plain body. I don't want to go for anything other than Dark Pulse. I mean, Air Slash. Okay, Roof. But at this point, I, their best option, they need to knock out Tornadus. And if they do, then I can bring in my Samurott. And Samurott can go see this uh, Aqua Cutter and just knock this thing out. No matter how much HP it has left. Because it has to roost even if it says 100%. Oh, you miss. So, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If I bring in... I 
Jacqueline Cutter will do 86 to 101 percent. I'm gonna call them roosting. And I don't want a U-turn just for a flame body because Air Slash will do a lot less. So I need to bring in my Samurai. And they miss a Hurricane. Ooh, we have Fortune on our side. That is an advantage. Okay, now this Aqua Cutter will knock it out. I do outspeed and there's nothing that's stopping me. Terra, fi Terra Flying is gonna be my out with this Pokemon. I need a Aqua Cutter because I need a Aqua Moltres because the Hurricane will do a lot of damage. And I was hoping it would roost in. So if the Hurricane didn't miss, then I would have been about 55, you know, I would have been at about 40%, 30% roughly. So that was a huge miss on their side. And now they're thinking what can take an Aqua Cutter or what can take a hit from me. Because this Moltres is going to be going down. And if it does, then. Bye bye. No, no flame body. Yes. No flame body. Ooh. Here goes another KO for the Samurai. Anything coming in is going to take a lot of spikes damage. I mean, it's going to be taking. Uh, I think it's a. Play rough is going to do a lot. Because the hammer is going to do a lot. But, uh, my switch in is always going to be Iron Treads. It has enough bulk to withstand anything, and Earthquake will knock it out. Yeah, that does hit them. So it, about 5%. Rocky Helmet. Ooh. Just EQ. I outspeed, right? Uh, yeah. I should outspeed it. It shouldn't, unless it's Scarf. And if it's Scarf, then... So be it. I will knock this thing out. They don't have any switches. Their only switch in was Moltres and it went down. Mm. Mm. This is gonna be this is spicy. Woo! Ooh. Iron Treads pulling it in. Same with uh Ursa Luna. That Ursa Luna set, man, was that. They, they were coiling, and the only way I had out of it is, yep, EQ should knock this thing out. It does 98%. <laughs> I just think it then goes down. There's one KO. First KO for Iron Treads of the game. There you go, Iron Treads. Put in some work. Now this Volcanion. Uh, Volcanion. Fire or ground? So if it's brown, uh, let's see. EQ is my play. It does. It, it could knock it out. It does seventy-five percent max. 75.1 and 63.6 is low. But it has a Terra, so it's going to be Terra Ground. In that case, the Steam Eruption will knock me out. Flame Blow will knock me out, and Earth Power will do a significant shot. It is a Scarf. It is Choice Scarf. Guaranteed Scarf, because the only way it can outspeed me to, is to be a Scarf. Uh, just Water Absorb. So, how much does... 
open into the... speed that's 49 to micro ninja and I I do outspeed it I can re, I can low kick and it should do about 44 to 52 a two low kicks should knock this thing out yeah two low kicks should knock this out or hold on how much is No, Ice Punch does 78%. So, Ice Punch is my play. 66 to 78%. And I'm Protean, so... That's even better. Guaranteed knockout. It should be guaranteed 2 hit KO. So they do switch out. I need to. Ooh, Cleavor. How much does this do to Cleavor? Takes. It's heavy duty boots, Cleavor. 50%. Okay. So, Cleavor. Uh, attacker. I should, out, I should outspeed. And. Yeah, oh, uh, Ice Punch. Ice Punch is always my play. I outspeed. To knock it out. So now the Paul Canyon is coming in. It's going to be guaranteed knocked out in knockout range of this Ice Punch. And Hoopa. Turn is my play. I outspeed it. I, I need to. Yeah, I need to turn out because Focus Blast will knock me out. And Shadow Ball will knock me out. So I U-turn and I bring in my Tornadus on Koopa because it is an AB. So I bring in my I U-turn out into my Tornadus. My tornado is regenerated, so this should do a hefty chunk. It does about 50%. Dang, that's nice. That's really good damage. And now I bring in Tornadus. Oop, uh, special. Dark Pulse will knock it out. Yeah, Dark Pulse will knock it out. And nothing they can do to Tornadus will knock me out. Uh, let's see against Samurai. Yeah, Focus Blast will not, yeah. Ceaseless Edge. Well, and it outspeeds me. So I need to bring in my Tornadus, Dark Pulse, and. Ooh, I live. No pair. Oh, no pair. The Dark Pulse will knock this thing out. I outspeed it. And I specifically did not show Dark Pulse just for this reason. In order to knock out that Hoopa. So now I can U-turn out into... Yeah, I need to U-turn out that Volcanium. Yep. It is a Scarf though, right? So I speed tie it. If it's I can I can possibly speed tie a grass not do a lot. Let me grass not is my play. 
Rasslan is my play. Should do about 66 and then Greninja can clear in house afterwards. I, I don't need Tornadus anymore. Steam eruption. Okay, that's fine. It does have speed, so it's definitely faster. But Ice Punch will knock out. What does it have in the back? What does it have in the back still? Nothing. So Ice Punch is the play. Ooh, they have speed. Ooh! And I survive and I Ice Punch. It was a speed tie. Yeah, boy! We win the Chicago Bear takes taken with Greninja. 2 0. Woo! That Volcano was fire. Solid set. Man. Woo! Wow. Well, there you go. We win 2 0. Greninja and Samurai survive in the end. Granaz loses itself, but. It did what it needed to do. That was a speed tie at the end with my Greninja. And stay tuned for next week's episode. It's been your boy Shemmy Bear. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned for more episodes as we continue on with, excuse me very much, with these battles. Peace out, y'all. Bye.